Hi, I'm going to show you today how to log in at home to the online math and social studies materials that we use at Evansville Christian School. So you can use the link from a class website or we have sent home um, sheets of paper with login information for the different things you can access at home. So you can use that too. Or you can just go to Google and search Connect Ed and it is the first um, the first search result. Oh, I didn't search Connect Ed. There we go. It's the first uh, search piece that comes up. If you just go to the McGraw-Hill website, the login screen is different. So this is what the correct login screen should look like. And I'm going to log in as my son today, who's a fourth grader last year. So the textbooks look, look different, but the setup is definitely the same. Um, so you can click right on the picture of the math book and it'll bring you to this port. So there are a lot of different ways to access the same information, but um, I'm gonna just show you a couple of them, the things that you more, most likely use. The um, online textbook is probably the, the main reason you would log in to this website at home. This green button at the top that says ebook is where you'll wanna click. And it's gonna take me to the page where I was last looking. So here I was I was looking at lesson three earlier. I can navigate from lesson and pages um, down at the bottom. I can type in the page or use the back, uh, the next and back arrow page, arrows to get me to the right page. There are a lot of features on this page. So let me click through a couple. So this is these are the exactly what the pages in our student book look like. There is independent practice that he probably did in class today, the problem solving that he might have worked through today. Um, and then here's the homework pages. There's a front and a back to that. So let's say that we, he got home and with without his homework page. And so that's what we needed to go to the website to find. Um, to print that off, there's, there's not a print button. So you've got two options for there. If your computer has um, some way to print from online, I think, I know sometimes I'm on a Mac, so it's gonna look a little bit different. I can go directly to this file and print and it will print this page. Um, sometimes it's over under a little menu towards the top right. Um, another option, a parent said that they go to this page on their a mobile device and take a screenshot and then email them, they email that to themselves and print it off from there. So there's another option. Um, down at the bottom are some helpful things for both parents and students at home. Let's say he gets home and he's not quite sure exactly what to do in this lesson and I'm not quite sure exactly how to help him with that. Down here are some features that would help us. Here on the watch, it will load up, I'll just do one or two of these. Um, here are some videos that the, his teacher may or may not have used in class today, but are, at, are available to, um, to his teacher to help walk through that lesson. The same with, there's a tutorial, which is a teacher, uh, a clip of a teacher walking through example problems for the lesson. So um, that's under tutor. There's some tools, which would be a work mat. Let's say this lesson involved clocks or coins or counters or um, centimeter cubes or something, I could access pieces like that under this tools. There's a check button, which would give my child a self-checking activity um, to so that I could also have, I could see a little bit more about how they're doing on that lesson. There's more worksheets. There's games that go with this. I'll click on that one. Oh, I'm loading right into the game. Let's get rid of that. Um, there's a game or two for each lesson that, that would reinforce those skills. This RTI button has additional worksheets as well, but these worksheets are um, enrichment, engagement type activities that would be above the skill level or some reteach activities that would be some remediation for the skill level. Um, one other cool feature on here is that you can write directly on this. Um, you can use this online pen tool and I'm not paying attention to what it, the correct answer is or the problem is even asking me, but you can write directly on the lines, which is kind of cool. Let's see, oops, let's go back to, I, I might have closed my tab for that. Um, there's a table of contents that can help you find if you're not quite sure what the page number is. There's some features there too. There we go. Um, back to this main part under this menu are some additional resources. If you click on resources, that gets you to many different, um, the same, really the same features that were available at the bottom of the ebook, the 
tutorials, the clips, the games, but that's, they're all in one section there. There's a student glossary here, which is nice if you need to look up what might be in the back of the student book. Um, this lesson, let's see if I can get rid of that. This menu here are the same um, things that you could get from the ebook, the tutorials, the clips, the additional worksheets, those are all available here too. Last thing I want to show you is if something's been assigned to my student. Now in third grade, we don't assign homework through the website, but that would be shown here where it says homework. We do assign the practice math test through the website. And I wish he had one assigned to him right now so you could see it. But below this box that says homework would be another green tab like this or green letters that says, um, I think it says assessments. And he would click on that and then it would list any assignments that need done. The other way to get to that is through this menu. Um, oh, the one that says homework. List anything that's been assigned to them. So if you clicked right on, um, it's summer, so he has nothing, nothing assigned. But if I clicked on what's due, then that practice test would be located in that section. So I hope this helps you um, navigate yourself through this connected website.